What's up, Headless Sword? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about San Diego Comic Con returning registration. Stick around. I got a bunch of information to tell you. What's up, everybody? So today we're going to be going over all the tips and tricks you need to make sure I see you at San Diego Comic-Con in 2025. But first, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you're new, and don't forget, check out the channel memberships because we'll be giving away the brand new Headless Net Star hat. Listen, this thing is flex fit. This hat is a huge improvement over my original so I can't wait to give this away to one of my channel members. Again, it is only $2.99 to join. All right, guys, we have a lot to get through. So we're going to get this thing rolling. First off, September 21st is the day the tickets will go up. Again, this is for returning registration. So headless, what does that mean? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. The first thing that you need to know is that only certain individuals get to participate in this drop. All right, so here we go. If you are a first-time attendee, so you have never gone to San Diego Comic-Con, you are not eligible. You are not eligible if you are a retailer, if you're a volunteer, if you're part of the Comic-Con staff, if you get press passes or complimentary passes, if you are an exhibitor, if you are a program participant, so you probably have a panel or part of a panel, if you are considered what they say is a professional, which would be a guest, a guest of a professional, something like that, you are not eligible. To be eligible on September 21st, you had to have bought your tickets for 2024. So basically, Regular guests, you had to have tickets last year. That is what this ticket drop is for. In October, anyone who is trying to go for the first time or did not go last year, you will be doing the open registration. And I will have a video for you for that as well. I will also be live on September 21st at 1135 a.m. I will be live. We'll go through some of the information you needed to know. And then we're going to try to sit here and get these tickets. If you've never done it before, I highly recommend you tune in and you can see exactly how the process works. So when you do get to open registration in October, you will be ready to roll. Now, to be 100% sure you are eligible, you're going to want to head over to the Comic-Con website. I will link it down in the description for you. And you're going to want to go in, log in to your member ID, and it will show up there if you are indeed eligible. If it says you're not and you believe you are, highly recommend either making a phone call or sending them an email. And I would do that ASAP since we are only about nine days away. It's unbelievable. We just got back. Now we're buying tickets for next year. All right, so next thing I want to talk about, I always get the question, can I buy tickets for friends if I am eligible? The question is, yes, you can. But there is one caveat. They must have also bought their tickets for 2024. So if you have a friend or a family member who wants to go this year, but they did not go, you will not be able to buy them tickets during this ticket drop. You will have to wait until October, and let's say you do get tickets this year, and you're done. You can still go log in and help your buddy or friend or family go ahead and get their tickets. When you log in to buy tickets, and this is one thing that a lot of people do not realize, if you already got yours during returning registration, you can go ahead and buy tickets for other people, and you can buy up to three. Now, this includes you. So if you already got them, you can buy three different people tickets for open registration. 
So it's kind of nice that they allow other people to help you get them who already have them. But again, if you are trying to get your friends tickets during returning registration, it's not going to work if they did not go last year. And again, they had to be a paying attendee, someone who was working as a volunteer or someone who just works there. They, they're not paying. They are going for free. They're doing their job. And then they get to have that benefit of being able to be at the con, but they cannot get the tickets through this ticket drop on the 21st. All right. The next question I get a lot is how exactly do I get these tickets? All right. So here we go. Actually, I found this on the Comic-Con website. They say they recommend for best results to use one of these four browsers. So they list Firefox, Google, or Google Chrome, Safari, and Microsoft Edge. The one that is not up there that I have used is Opera. So there's five choices right there. There's obviously many, many other ones as well. The best way to do this is download all of these on to your PC. Again, if you want to roll the dice and try it on your Chromebook, on your iPhone, your iPad, whatever, that's just more chances you'll have. Because what you want to do is you want to log in with the link they send you. You want to log in and you're going to go ahead and open up one window for each of these browsers. But what you don't want to do is open up, for example, Google Chrome, and then open up 16 tabs. That is not going to help you because I think what happens is they have some type of security against that, and this way it kind of almost cancels each other out. So what I highly recommend is to download at least those five that I listed earlier, Firefox, Google Chrome, Safari, Microsoft Edge, and again, I have used Opera, so I don't think there's much of an issue with that as well. And again, there are others. But if you download those five onto, let's say, two to three different devices, and then you bring up the waiting page that you were going to get sent the link to, now you have 10 to 15 chances. So usually what I'll do is I will put four on my phone, five on my laptop, and then my wife does the same. So we are right about 18 chances. Obviously, we're working together. So if you have other people that are doing this with you, you can see how it adds up over time and you have more and more chances. Now, is it guaranteed? Of course not. There's no guarantee. Here's the way I see it, Ted. Guy puts a fancy guarantee in a box because he wants you to feel all warm and toasty inside. Yeah, makes a man feel good. Of course it does. Why shouldn't it? You figure you put that little box under your pillow at night, the guarantee fairy might come by and leave a quarter. But it definitely increases your chances. So that is what you're going to want to do as far as the browsers. Now, again, they say that they highly recommend using a laptop or desktop because they do say that tablets, cell phones, iPads, all that kind of stuff, there's no guarantee because of unexpected behavior, because again, of the system they use is not made for those devices. The other thing they mentioned on the website is you wanna make sure you have JavaScript and cookies and make sure that it is all enabled. Make sure that's enabled for their site and probably for the waiting room. So you can go ahead and do that by just Quickly clicking on the history, go down to cookies and you'll see if it's enabled for that site. Another important tip, and I feel like this is what really hurt me last year. So I'm doing this right after I'm done making this video. Log into your member ID over on the Comic-Con website. Again, I did link it in the description down below. And what you're going to want to do is enter your credit card information you're going to use. I feel like last year, although I have all of my credit card information saved on my computer for the card I typically use for cons and you know any other kind of drops. I feel like it still was slower because I had to like do the password and then I had to still put in the security code. Now they still may make you put the security code in, but the credit card information you enter into the Comic-Con website, it's already gonna be there for you. They say you have 15 minutes to complete your badge purchase, which is true. But it doesn't mean things can't sell out as you are checking out. 
And that is the worst because last year I did have my Wednesday preview night tickets in the cart, put all the information in, and boom, of course it was sold out. And it happened again during open registration. It was really frustrating. So I highly recommend you do that. If you are a person who doesn't like to keep that information into different sites or your computer, you can always remove it after the fact. But just don't forget to do it. I'm telling you right now, it may make a huge deal on what you get. Finally, if you don't get the tickets you want, let's say Saturday and Friday sell out. And again, on the live on the 21st at 1135 a.m. Eastern, I will be going over what time everything has been sold out the last few years. I have all the data. I'm actually currently making a little checklist and chart. So you guys can see it on the live stream. So I de- again, I do recommend you stopping by, hanging out. And again, if you have not ever gone and you're just kind of watching this video because you want to know what this is all about, if you, you are going to be a person who needs to get yourself a member ID if you haven't already done it, and then you're going to be going for your tickets in October. And again, I will be live in October as well. But I do recommend you checking it out just to see the process. It can be stressful. It really can. But as I was saying, if you only get, let's say, Thursday and Sunday, and you really want to try to get Friday and Saturday, then you can go ahead and enter into the open registration because since you got the two tickets, you'll only be able to purchase the ones you did not. And yes, it does include preview night. All right, guys, if you have any other questions about open or returning registration, leave those down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope it helps. I hope to see you on the 21st. Don't forget to keep those heads on, and I'll see you guys in the next video.